Welcome to the 13th celebration of Parent of the Year. My name is Katie Robinson and I'm the coordinator for the Student Activity Center and Parents Association. I hope you all are enjoying our first ever virtual family appreciation week and have had time to reconnect with your students. We'd like to take a moment and thank our presenting sponsor, Commonwealth Credit Union, for supporting our students today and every day. Let us begin. The Cardinal Parent of the Year Award is a celebration of the supportive role that parents and guardians play in the lives of our students, which have looked very different for most of us this year. You are essential to helping your students succeed at UofL. We encouraged our students to nominate a family member with a strong impact on their lives, and we were pleasantly surprised to receive over 20 nominations. A selection committee judged the nominated essays and came to a consensus on the 2020-2021 award recipient. This was no easy feat. We were very moved by the responses we received from our students and would like to take a moment to share a few quotes from the nomination letters with you. One student said, I truly owe all of my happiness and success at this university to my father. Another, I know no matter where I end up in the coming years, my parents will be there for me and ready to help me or pick me up when I need them. To this day, my mother is my hero. I love my mom. She is my person. My mom is a real life superhero. We would like to congratulate each parent nominated. The following parents received a nomination from their student. Halima Hassan, Denise and Charles White, Lydia Schatzberger, Amy Schur, Julie Benford, Mary and Alan Brenzel, Minnie and Syl Massey, Amanda and Sean Moore, Jennifer Mundy, Yvonne Gales, Andrew and Tamara Gaskins, Mary Lou Thurmond, Natasha Brown, Jackie and Carolyn Richardson, William Goodall, Jennifer and David Taylor, Kelly Humphrey, Pete Azari, David Thomas, and Kathy Allen. In addition to our UofL parent nominees, we are proud to partner with our UPS Metro College program for their Parent of the Year celebration. The Metro College program is a partnership between UPS and the University of Louisville. Participating students get their full-time undergraduate tuition paid to the University of Louisville, as well as book reimbursement money, bonuses, and other benefits. To learn more about this program, we encourage you to visit metro-college.com. We would like to congratulate each Metro College parent nominated. The following parents received a nomination from their student. Carla Williams, Melissa and Robert Siegel, Laura Rogers, Carol Lane, Tammy Briel, James Mixon, Angela Bora, Jackie and Matt Wren, Greg Ruchin, Amanda and Patrick Overall, Nina and Grady Lyle. Congratulations to all. Now it's time to announce the winners of the 2020-2021 Metro College Parents of the Year. This year, we have three winners. We'll take a moment to read the winning essays. Throughout my year and a half of working at UPS, I've been almost three hours away from my family. It has been difficult, but having my parents there for me has made a tremendous impact on my experience. They supported me and encouraged me when I found myself doubting my own abilities. Working at UPS, it is hard to find time to go home for the holidays, but they made it work. They traveled to my apartment and made home-cooked meals with me. It made Louisville a home away from home. I love them so much. This is why I believe they should be the Metropolitan College Parent of the Year. Congratulations to Nina and Grady Lyle. Today, I'm here to nominate my parents for their support, sacrifices, and their appreciation and love for me. They've made such an impact on my life and that without them, I wouldn't have made it to this point in my education career. So to give a little bit of background, I was a student at Elizabeth Community and Technical College for fall of 2020. I was going through a really rough patch. Not, not only was I receiving unfair treatment from my previous employer, but it was also from my institution at ECTC. When the pandemic hit, I completely lost control of my emotional state. I was suffering from anxiety, depression, and amnosity. I was left vulnerable with my studies and to fend for myself. 
However, my parents protected me from the people who treated me differently. My parents have made an incredible impact on my life. It was October of 2020 that I finally decided to leave ECTC due to my academic concerns and unfair treatment at my previous employer. My parents have always supported me for what was best for me. So they helped me find an apartment in Louisville and to be a Metro College student at UPS and attend UofL for exercise science. They help me pay for my groceries. They call and check on me and tell me all the time how proud of me they are for my decisions. They've pushed me all of my life to be successful. With so many dreams and promises that I've made to myself and my family, I can't let myself or any of my parents down. They've been the extraordinary light for me through my darkest times. My parents have taught me so many things. I may still be young, but you learn as you grow. Through every difficult storm, they've always creating the sun and the rainbows in my day. I couldn't be more proud of my parents because they're my heroes. They've been with me since day one. Furthermore, have always loved me. I think the beauty of having parents is you learn what it means to love, sacrifice, and be a mature adult. They've done so many things for me. Because of them, I wouldn't have made the changes necessary to get to where I am today. Furthermore, I wouldn't be a successful Metro College student without their love and support. In conclusion, I'm nominating my two incredible caregivers, Amanda Overall and Patrick Overall, for their hard work and dedication. Furthermore, for helping me create a successful future as a Metro College student and exercise science major at UofL. Congratulations to Amanda and Patrick Overall. The final winner of the Metro College Parent of the Year received this nomination. I believe he should be nominated for this because he picked up two more jobs on top of running the sexual assault program at Norton Healthcare. He also became the Floyd County Coroner and got a job at the VA working on the front lines of COVID patients. He did this because my mom was laid off until everything was better or until her place of employment thought it was safe for everyone to return to work. He's been nothing but supportive of me, my brother, and my sister because he knows how hard the past year was on all of us, and it means the world to our household how supportive he is. Congratulations to Greg Ruschen. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the UofL 2020-2021 Parent of the Year. This year's recipient student submitted the following essay. My mother was the most beautiful woman I ever saw. All I am, I owe to my mother. I attribute all my success in life to the moral, intellectual, and physical education I received from her. A quote by George Washington. My name is Hawa Ahmed, and I was born in a small village in Somalia, located in the Horn of Africa. I was born into a happy family created by my father and my mother. Although we were not well off, we were humble with what little we had and helped those who had less. My mother, Halima, was a stay-at-home mom and my father worked for us. For a while, we lived a normal, happy life. My mom had two of her children die from complications at birth. No one knew it caused it. The trauma it brought on her was painful to witness for my family. She suffered from a lot of anxiety and depression at that time. Then, when I was four, my dad passed away from tuberculosis. Our perfect little life was shattered. My mom was only in her 30s at this time. A lot of people were pressuring her to get remarried because of our culture. Instead, my mom decided to focus on us. My mom became sick with an unknown illness at that time as well. She was getting surgery after surgery, removing layers of skin filled with fluid that had been forming on her body. She was unable to do basic daily tasks at that time. She left Somalia to get treatments abroad. She took my oldest sister, Natasha, with her to Syria. Me and my sister, Nemo, stayed back at home with my grandma who took care of us. In Syria, my mom was treated and worked hard to bring us there with her so we could be together. We immigrated there a few years later. Life was not easy there. We had to learn Arabic for the first time. Me and my two sisters went to school there and faced a lot of discrimination. We were the only dark-skinned kids at our school. 
My mom worked hard to encourage us and was always there to remind us that education is what mattered the most. She told us that we should not give up no matter what because education was the only thing that no one could ever take from us. My mom was a hard worker and she wanted the best life for us. She worked so hard to get me, my sister, and my grandma to immigrate to the United States of America where she knew we would have better opportunities. It was hard financially, as no one was working in our family yet, and we were only getting assistance from the government. She put everything into it and made it happen. When we came to America, I was eight years old. My mom, again, started from zero. She had to learn another language, get us enrolled in the best schools, and help us stay out of trouble. She spent many nights awake making ends meet while we washed up and headed to bed. We all managed to graduate fine and eventually realizing we had to work so hard to make my mom happy for all of her efforts. Those years were not easy either. She heard news her father passed away back at home. She was devastated. We were so sad to see our mom heartbroken. She still had her mother though. My grandma was her biggest supporter after all. My grandmother was diagnosed with stomach cancer in December of 2019. For over a year, she was battling it, and my mom was so strong for her. She took her to all of her appointments and made sure she took all of her medications on time. My mom still doesn't work to this day due to her surgeries, so she spent every single day working to take care of my grandma. It was so painful for me and my sisters to see my grandma lose so much weight and begin to forget a lot of things. She passed away in February of 2020. My grandma was my father figure for most of my life. She kept our house bright and had a big personality. From the day of her passing, our household dynamics have changed significantly. I really want my mom to receive this award because of everything she's been through. I know how hard she has worked for us. She provided me with so much in my life and most importantly, she gave me character. My goal is to work my hardest to make my mother happy and be, become successful. I want to be character. I want to be like my mom in the future, full of grace and kindness, willing to give everyone she comes across her best self and never giving up. I want to brighten up our family and bring us back to the way we were before. The 2020-2021 UofL Parent of the Year Award winner is Halima Hassan. Congratulations. Congratulations again to all of those nominated. We'd like to encourage you to visit our virtual Family Appreciation Week website and take advantage of the remaining on-demand sessions available to you today. Be proud of your students because we sure are. Have a great day and thanks for watching.